Hi, my name is Tom Hadigan. I'm the author and creator of this new YouTube channel uh, dealing with mixed martial arts and also with boxing. So I'm going to have a look at the recent light heavyweight championship between Baturbiev and Bivol. This is Baturbiev on the left and this is Bivol on the right. It took place in Riyadh, um, Saudi Arabia. One of the exciting points. Now let's look at the record. This is the record of uh, Baturbiev. Now Baturbiev is, uh, has an, a monumental record of 20 straight victories by knockout out of 20. But look at some of the people that he's actually beaten. Um, let's look here. Callum Johnson, a world champion. Um, Joe Smith Jr., world champion. Uh, Callum Smith, world champion. Dimitri Bivov world champion so we have 21 victories out of 21 uh, 20 victories by knockout or technical knockout and one victory uh, by points that's um, Arthur Baturbiev's record now the record of um, Bivol is slightly different um, very few knockouts let's count them one two three four five six uh, knockouts or technical knockouts the rest of them essentially on points um, and of course he lost his last fight to Baturbiev so the judges gave the fight to Baturbiev but I'd like to just introduce a couple of factors here firstly Baturbiev is a very aggressive uh, attacking fighter that's a real plus in most people's eyes in terms of boxing uh, and his performance of you know, 20 knockouts out of 20 victories is just amazing. So Baturbiev has these two positives uh, before he starts the fight. Now his opponent, Bivol, um, is, the, the, is the supremely gifted boxer. He's a, a str strategically precise, technically adept um, artist. He's one of the best boxers in modern day boxing. And I believe that uh, he started off with a very small positive. Most people don't admire the boxer who doesn't have the finishing touch. So we have a situation where Baturbiev has these two positives. And uh, Bivol, his really positives are really minimized. And that's really unfortunate. Now, if we look at the actual judging, um, most commentators, I'm not, necessarily referring to Palomo, Fellman or Cardini. Most commentators would agree that Bivol won rounds one and two. Most commentators would agree that Baturbiev won uh, 10, 11, 12. Most commentators would say that um, Baturbiev won six, uh, five and six. I think there's some doubt about uh, round nine. So in a sense, there's just a victory in favor of uh, Baturbiev. But I think this could easily have been uh, a draw, interpreted as a draw. I think the issues are psychological, that the judges are being swayed by the aggressive demonstration of power by Baturbiev, his endless going on the front foot and going forward. Okay, he did all those things, but what did what Bivol did as a, as a strategic wrestler, strategic boxer, was just simply outstanding. I mean, he, he showed finesse, style, perspective, good movement. He was just the outstanding boxer. I would have just, I would have marked that very much as a draw. So I'm looking forward to Baturbia versus Bivol too. Um, I think that Bivol goes into the second match thinking he has a better chance than he had during the first match. I think he, he knows that if he changes or modifies one or two insights and perspectives, I think he could come out, easily come out the winner of that one. So I look forward to the return.